The Fitzroy Foxes were quite against a whole orange wall. That's why we've done it in sections. So this section is going to be the play area. In the meeting area, it's going to be green, so that's a bit more calming. In the blue area is going to be like the study area. That's a bit more calm as well. And this is going to be the fun, vibrant play area. Boombox. We're walking down the street in the Bronx. We've got 100 cardboard tubes. <laughs> Just 100. Just 100. OK. okay. We've got all of this modular kind of furniture that's kind of made of cardboard that can be just folded up and put away. So if we can kind of go here to here. We've got a little story to tell. We've got a bit of an environmental sustainable theme going on. Um, and kids care about that stuff now. I'm thinking about Greta. She's a sassy little schoolgirl. She's an environmentalist. She cares about like sustainable materials, loves a bit of colour. She's playful but serious. She's academic but a little bit sporty. And then this is where you're walking. Oh, see it? Oh, far out. Oh, damn it. The kids wanted a space that was kind of environmentally friendly. Cork is environmentally friendly, better than all that kind of plastic stuff. So we've gone for the cork. I'm regretting it now. So I've designed my own little boy and girl fox toilet signs for the bathroom. The Fitzroy Foxes have got their original kind of emblem, mascot, logo. But we just wanted to add to it a bit and the foxes are wearing little outfits, dressed up as kind of like school kids. I want the kids to feel like they're kind of part of them. I just really hope they get noticed. Oh yes, I am digging this colour palette. And I love the fact as well that it's been used in these really dramatic blocks. We've got this juicy tangerine, a lovely deep forest green, and I'm really enjoying this azure blue. This has completely sucked me into the space already. Well, these are very your colours, aren't they? But I find it's quite fighty because they are so all so vivid. The thing I love, though, is that they didn't just echo the zones on the floor, but they took it up onto the ceiling. So at least when I walk in, I can see the zones. I guess it's just these kind of little corners that I'm less enthused about. I'm just wondering what sort of happens in there. I just, I guess I like a space to be a bit more sort of open and just so everyone can see what's going on. Now this is successful to me, Sophie, because here we've got those tubes, but by painting them, it just elevates them. It also forms a wonderful little screen to hide all the storage behind. There is obviously also quite a strong eco story I'm sensing in here as well and connection to the environment. So there are plenty of plants throughout the whole space. Uh, use of the sustainable natural materials like cardboard and ply. So I think that should be commended as well, that it doesn't just look great, but actually it feels quite nice. It has that connection to nature.